Hello, and welcome to another hypnosis session. This session is designed for you to pass your driving test. And as such, it is designed to program your mind in a way that will allow you to remain calm under the most stressful positions and situations. And it will allow you to remember all the things that you have learned during the course of your practice and study. And it is for this reason you need to know that passing a driving test is just like any other test. It requires co composure, calmness, focus, concentration, and more importantly, the ability to recall those things that have worked in the past while you were practicing. Maybe it was your parallel parking. Maybe it was putting your turn signal on when you are changing lanes, or to accelerate at the right moment, or to slow down while you're driving through a school district. All this can be achieved only through the use of your unconscious mind. Because your conscious mind cannot handle the bombardment of information that is coming in at a rapid pace. It is for this reason when people are put under situations that are stressful that they become panicky and anxiety takes over and that's simply because your unconscious mind is not operating as it should you're letting your conscious mind make decisions and your conscious mind messes up it's very simple it's a very simple process to allow your unconscious mind to take over and to let you do the things that you have done right prior to your exam. It is for this reason I would like to guide you through a hypnosis session that will greatly benefit you as you prepare to take your driving exam. Now, I ask you to choose a place that is comfortable, where you will not be disturbed for a lengthy period of time while we conduct this session. Please turn off your phones and let everyone that you, who might be distracting you from your session to wait until you're done. And make sure that there is nothing that will happen disturb you or disturb the process in which you are evolving unconsciously. So once you're ready, make sure you're in a dimly lit space, that the bright lights don't disturb you, and that you find yourself in a comfortable position, preferably in a reclining position or a lying position in which you can unfold your arms and legs and to make sure that you are comfortably resting while your head is in a comfortable position. Once you're ready, you can begin. Take a deep breath and hold onto a count of three. That's right. Let it go slowly. And as you do, bring your attention to your breath. As you inhale again, on the count of three. One, two, three. And holding it for a count of three. One, two, three. And letting go for a count of three. 
one, two, three. And I would like you to repeat this process in your own terms, taking your breath in on a count of three. One, two, three. Holding it. One, two, three. And releasing. One, two, three. And we are going to do this one more time. And I would like you to do this in your own count so that you can work things through your own pace. And as you do so, your body will relax because you have relaxed your breath. When you're calm and, and, and composed, you will breathe more calmly, more silently, more smoothly. And that is the first step in unlocking your unconscious mind and as you breathe in and holding it and releasing it I would like to make sure that you have also closed your eyes if you haven't done so yet because closing your eyes brings attention to the inside where you are not bombarded by visual stimulus but calm enough to hear the words that I am speaking to you right now. And as you do so, I would like to let you know that each word that you hear, each sound that you hear, will also help you to relax if you just but let it do so. So each word, as it goes in, let it vibrate and let it work as miracle as it should because when you find that you yourself have found the resources that you need to make sure that you are composed and calm as you face your day and night because when you do so, you are on a journey just like the one that you have taken when you were a child. Remember sitting in a car looking out the window. As things went by, you could not but yet see them go and they would be gone until the next thing came and you could always keep watching because as the car moved new things came into view and you had to also let go of the things that were no longer in your view and is that the process that you would like to follow to let go and to embrace what is to come to hear each word and let it vibrate as a journey that you have taken to the inner depths of your unconscious mind now. And as you do so, let your breath also calm even further, allowing you to relax your shoulders, your facial muscles, your jaw, and your lips. You would be surprised that even your eyes and your eyelids had held tension, which you now can release as much as you would like to do the things that you have done with pleasure. This one will fall into the right spot, knowing that you are in control of your relaxation. As you do so, even the ears and your neck shall relax and that relaxing sensation can continuously move through your body to your chest and your back and your arms and your belly and you can let it go 
to your legs all the way down to your calves and your feet and it is through this process that you would find the extremities of your body like your hands feeling certain sensations that only indicate that you are in a process of becoming unconscious, going deeper and entering a state of hypnosis. In this session, we are allowing you to find all the resources that you need to allow you to pass your driving exam. Now, I would like you to go back in time to the very first class you took the driving class. Remember how it may have not been the easiest thing to do and you had to practice, learn how to hold the steering wheel and learn how to push the gas pedal just the right amount for the car to accelerate at a certain pace and to know that you can slow down by gently pressing on the brakes and knowing that the vehicles on the right and the left are just moving along as they should and all you are doing is following the traffic, the road and you have a lot of things to concentrate but this concentration can be done easily through unconscious processes because your mind, a conscious mind cannot think of the gas pedal and the brake and the steering wheel while thinking about what is in your rear view mirror and what is in front of you is your unconscious mind that can take care of all these processes as it has done so many times, so many ways, learning the ways of the alphabet, how to form the letters. It's the same process. Your unconscious mind knows how you must hold a pencil and the shape you need to create to make a letter and furthermore it is there in your body that the miracles have happened the miracle of finding the ways to keep your body temperature the same and to let your breathing to be even and smooth and to even moderate your blood pressure this is all done unconsciously without you having to think about it because your conscious mind can only think of one thing and how can you drive a vehicle when it requires the incorporated efforts of all your limbs when you can only do so consciously on one while your unconscious mind is the resource that you need to pass every driving exam. So the first step is to remember and recollect all the information that you have learned through your driving classes. Then to remember and recall all those things that you did right. To know that you only have to remember and apply those principles when the time has come for you to take your driving exam. And I would like you to imagine yourself stepping into the car, fastening your seatbelt, checking your mirrors, to making sure that the car is not in parking break and then you make sure that you are comfortable in your seat so that when you are driving the only thing you need to do 
always concentrate at the task before you and when the driver examiner is seated beside you you have to only remember that you are there to show that person that you can competently drive a vehicle that this driving test is just another ordinary day just like the day when you had done the things right like parking or slowing down at the driving point where the miles and the kilometers indicated are the indicated miles on your speedometer now that is the process that you have to go through but having to imagine you have done everything right will help you to remember that you are in an unconscious state now and deeper and deeper you can go as you listen to my voice because my voice is the guiding source it helps you to see the things that were obviously always there but you had not yet noticed them and give them enough attention to allow the unconscious processes to be at its maximum power that's right as you go down deeper remember that you are driving and your examiner is there just like a caring person who wants you to pass the exam and when you are driving you're also going to a destination with each and every moment as the car rolls forth you realize that you are also entering a deep state of unconsciousness an unconscious state in which you are able to calmly control all operations of the vehicle it's simple as that knowing to check your mirrors the right mirror the left mirror the rear view mirror to know where the cars are that the other moving motor vehicles are there just as you are there as well you are in harmonious state moving comfortably through the traffic traffic which simply is there as a normal everyday occurrence and all those drivers who are so competent are operating in an unconscious state just as you are and would be forever and ever whenever you drive because once the unconscious processes have been refined driving is no longer a thinking process but an acting process because I don't have to tell you how to lift a glass of water to your mouth or to brush your teeth you don't have to learn all those things like walking because they have became an innate part of you a part of you where you no longer have to engage your conscious mind so your unconscious state is throughout your day and when you do go into that state you are able to observe things easier so you can devote your energy and time into other things like reading or watching or listening where you are fulfilled deeply and beautifully this is it this is the one 
this is where you will find those processes that help you to become better and better at what you do. It is simply not knowing that has led you to have anxiety. But now that you know how your exam will be, you no longer have to think about it. In fact, you can just forget all the things that you don't need to worry about and concentrate only on the things that come naturally because you have learned them well during your driving class. That's right. It's always at composure that you are able to remain calm, knowing precisely when to gently brake and when to gently accelerate and when to simply check your mirrors. Because checking your mirrors is like looking backwards, knowing what's behind you. And when you are looking forward, you are seeing what is in front of you in the same way that you could look out through the window of the car when you were a child, comfortably observing, maybe getting excited with all the things that you saw. That is a process that has been so easy to do. And only thing you had to do was be there. And you didn't have to think about time or any other thing, but just be at the moment present, observing, calm and composed. That is the secret to all unconscious processes in which you are going down further in the alley of knowledge. As you learn, as you hear the words, you are going deeper because your unconscious mind recognizes that each word that you hear is a recognition of what is true, something that you now know that you can always come back to by simply listening to this audio recording. And if you further need assistance, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call so we can arrange a private session where I can help you to pass that exam by simply talking and guiding your unconscious mind to perform at its best because you no longer have to do things your way you're no longer alone you are powerful because you are given power through the access of your unconscious state an unconscious state is a state that is hidden from us. We are so far away from living in an unconscious state that we often react instead of be proactive. Instead of knowing what to do, we panic. This is the state that we can easily avoid by simply allowing proper guided session to take place, whether it's privately or through these tapes that are offered for free to you so that you can benefit greatly. I say it is you who must recognize what is true for you all the time. What you have learned in your driving class is one of the first steps that you need to take in order to become a lifetime of safe driver. In this process, you are only allowing what seems to be obviously the obvious, yet 
allowing the other parts of you to see that you have found a friend within yourself, which is your unconscious state. Whenever you access and let that unconscious state perform its miracles, you then can go further and further in life, both successfully in your endeavors, but also in your personal life. It is recognizing these important points that has led all those great accomplishers and successful people to operate at their peak. When a baseball player steps onto the plate to bat, he doesn't think about how he's going to hit the ball. He just knows that when the ball is coming at a very fast speed, that he would have the practice and the knowledge and the wisdom stored in his unconscious mind to be able to react at the peak time to let that ball fly out of the park and score a home run. It is that process which you must also embrace knowing that you have become very unconscious now as you travel with each breath you take each and every single cell of your body recognizing and vibrating at a pace that will allow you to operate calmly and in a composed manner whenever you are taking an exam, especially driving exams. For some, it may seem scary, but no longer do you have to worry about that. You have to let it go simply by knowing that you can easily access those parts of your mind that have held the knowledge and the wisdom to guide you through the most difficult situations. And furthermore, you now have these recordings and the ability to talk to me in person so that you can find your own path in helping yourself become better and better in whatever you choose to do. That is the true secret of success. Success that comes from knowing that you have become the master of your unconscious mind, that you can actually direct the course of your life through the correct access to your unnatural processes as well as the natural processes. Because for some people, accessing their unconscious mind is an unnatural process, yet it is one that they are not familiar with. Once they have mastered the parts of their unconsciousness and able to access those parts successfully, then they become natural, just like riding a bicycle or getting up from a chair or laying down on a bed where you don't have to think about it because your unconscious mind is operating there at all times. Now, I would like you to imagine one last thing, which is the process in which you are taking your exam and making sure that you are given the right answers the right answers to do the right thing. I would like to imagine the examiner saying, congratulations, you have passed the driving exam and you can now begin 
a lifetime of thriving because you have earned it. You have actually passed the exam. And no matter how much you do, the only thing that you have to remember is that each and every time you listen to this recording, you are actually honing the skills of your unconscious mind from which you can drive much success. And each and every time you hear the recordings that I have pressed, you can also find that you can enter the state of unconsciousness much faster. Each time you hear the recordings, you can go twice as deep, three times as fast by simply listening to the pitch and the sound of my voice. In either way, you are blessed to know that you are strong you have found the right resources to be successful. Now in a moment I'm going to count till 10. When I reach number 10 I would like you to open your eyes and be filled with happiness and joy as if you have woken up from a deep breath of sleep and be able to enjoy the rest of your day and all night the only thing you have to do is follow as i count up from one to three that's right it's like learning abcs your unconscious mind harnessing the powers four five six that's right coming up slower and slower Yet knowing that you are in connection with your environment now. 7, 8, you become more aware of your breathing and you can let your hands and feet start moving as you go up to 9 and letting that freshness come in over you. And then we have number 10. You can open your eyes now enjoy this blissful moment and if you choose to close your eyes back again to prolong this experience you may well do so and i thank you for listening 